that's the way back to the main tube. Now. Okay, here's another place where the cave gets smaller and smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and try to climb through here. Now this cave, the bottom floor, it's rock. It's not just rough, it's loose rock. So I also have to make sure that if I'm holding on to a rock, it's not gonna roll away under me. So then it might shift my center of gravity in the wrong direction, like towards a rock, something nasty. Now here's an example. This is even smaller. I bet if I tried really hard, I could crawl through there. But you know what? I really don't want to get myself stuck. So I'm not even going to try. But yeah, that's exactly the kind of cave where it benefits to be skinny. I can see it goes forward about 20 feet, curves to the right. So I'm, I'm nowhere near the dead end, I don't think. But like I said, right now I'm just not skinny enough to try to get in there. This is the kind of thing you want to come through with a group of people. Have the skinniest person, well, set a couple of skinny people go together. But make sure you stay within talking distance. So if you actually do get hurt, stuck, you can go for help. Just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're going to make it in and out safely by yourself. You have a little bit of teamwork going on. trying to I want to turn around but I haven't figured out if I have room to turn around just yet okay here we go I think I can turn around now okay perfect so now I'm almost to the point you know here I could put on my backpack and almost walk around but the ceiling gets low again so I'm not gonna waste time putting on my backpack for 10 seconds then taking it off let me uh, hold on my backpacks cut on it's caught on a rock let me adjust my knee pad again Oops. Oops, darn it. I keep pushing the wrong button on accident. I should be careful. There's only three buttons on this thing and they're right next to each other. But oops. Unfortunately. If I just held the gimbal all the time, it's not that hard. But because of the way I'm crawling. I like to switch hands. Hold my gimbal with my right hand and hold it with my left hand. Just so I can shift which way I'm leaning and stuff. Ergonomics. But yeah, it's a little bit of work crawling through here. Oops, hang on. I see something cool. I spy with my little eye a rock. Uh, 
see if I can get this on. Close as I'm gonna get. Ow. The sharp rocks. Oops, dang it, hang on. I accidentally bumped my gimbal and that wants to point the wrong way. Oh well, it's better than just dying. If... Okay, so I'm back to the main tube, but I'm still, oh wow, my flashlight's not as bright as I thought it was. Hang on. Let me go over here a second. Hold on, I need to be careful. I think I'm on top of a loose rock. Okay, come on, my... Hold on, let me, uh, oh, dang it, not again, got my gimbal, it keeps pointing the wrong dang direction, no matter how many high, hard I try, it keeps wanting to point the wrong way, I know it has 20 different modes, they don't make any sense, anyway, I'm used to the gimbal that only has two or three modes, it's, much harder on that one to accidentally switch modes. All right, here we go. So this is the way I just came up. That's the main tube. There's another side passage. Right now, I'm basically on top of the main tube. I'm on the upper level of the main tube. Kind of cool, huh? You know what? I think it's time to switch flashlights. I don't think this flashlight's gonna do it justice. Let me, uh, hang on a second. <sighs> 